very easy to see the bear channel here on crude. But then this was a big sign this morning. Remember this morning, guys? We talked about the previous low of day. And now this may not sound like it's very important, but the fact that we're chopping around the previous low of day, that was a pretty big heads up today. The previous low of day. Now, when I'm below the previous lows, that means the range from yesterday is no longer valid. And if we're below the previous lows, I can only assume now the sellers have spoken and they're in charge. Well, if we trade below the previous lows and then come right back up and then go sideways, doesn't that tell me a little bit of a, of, of a scenario here? Don't I get a story behind this? The story behind price breaking below the previous low and then breaking back up, here's the key, now trading sideways at the previous low. That tells me when it broke to the downside, it failed came back up into the previous low of day, now it becomes an inside day, because as long as I'm inside the range from yesterday, nothing's changed, right? The personality hasn't changed, the biases we assume haven't changed, so when I see that this is sitting there at the previous low of day, this tells me now, there's a good chance here, this thing's gonna start to rise again. Clearly the sellers are exhausted, they've run out of gas, so to speak, right? Pardon the pun, but as you can see here though, that was a really big clue. So we had a bear channel going early, or earlier this week, right, from Friday last week. But then we notice we're sitting around that previous low of day, and sure enough, swing low, swing low, swing high, and you know where I'm going with this, there's your new bull channel. Now, the majority of our, of our stress this morning came right here, right there. This is where you get this is where you get the top of the bear channel and the bottom of the bull channel colliding. Now, we always talk about this, which one's most important? The bear channel. Why is the bear channel more important? Because it takes into account more price fall, right? More price action. So the bear channel, that's the most important right now. So if I have to choose between buying the lows of the bull channel or selling the highs of the bear channel, I've got to choose the bear channel first. So this is where we got kind of chopped up here for a little bit, right inside of that wedge, right between the bull channel lows and the bear channel highs. Now this is actually a really good example because the high of day today was what? The high of day here was at 74. That actually became the line in the sand. Now, real quick, real quick, on a bear channel, up top here, on a bear channel, how do I know when a bear channel is broken? How do I know when a bear channel is broken? You got it. Mark up your swing high, and once I break above that swing high, jackpot. Now I know, now I know that bear channel's broken. That's why I always tell my clients, if you jump out of a bear channel, sell resistance above the bear channel. It'll come right back down in and keep going. So we know that a bear channel, I'm going to try to sell resistance above that bear channel. We're going to sell the highs, two steps short, 37 ticks. We then come up and again, bam, now, this is the high of day. And remember, the high of day, that's my line in the sand now, get above that resistance, now I can buy pullbacks, and we'll go, uh, hopefully, higher here inside this bull channel. Buying a pullback one, this is a wave pattern long, I make my 21 ticks. I'm seeing price above the resistance on the bear channel. I'm now considering this to be a broken channel, I'm buying now. I'm in a bull channel, ready to rock. We come up. 9.59 at 10.04, I'm going to try one more time here to get in. And at 10.04, I make 20 ticks. You'll notice here, it got pretty sloppy here. I was aggressive though, buying pullback one, new higher high. Buying pullback two, new higher high. Now, a member of mine this morning asked me, Joe, why are you trying so hard to buy the highs of that channel? Isn't that the high of the channel? And I said, absolutely. But what do we have happening right now? a transition from sellers in charge to buyers in charge. We just saw the previous low of day fail. I'm thinking this thing's got a chance to jump up to the open or the previous high of day. So that was my thought process of buying into those range highs here. 
we had just broken free of that of that bear channel. So at 99, I make 21 ticks. I make 20 more ticks at at 1004. Now what's going to happen here is look, we're going to wave one, wave two. It fails. I'm going to sell now with the idea that maybe we're failing. Could this possibly be a failed breakout of the channel? Could we possibly be coming in now, back down into the channel below us? Would make sense to me. So now we're thinking maybe crew make be tumbling after failing at those highs. So we try to sell here. I sell short. As you can see, didn't get much out of it at all. Two-step pattern short. 10, 10. I make my 10 ticks. Got my plus 5 times 2 is 10. 